Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Eric and the Tarot. Today we're going to do your general love read for the week of November 20th through the 26th. Keep in mind these are general reads. They cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. So if you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, I do love reads on Wednesday because I work with the energy of the goddess Venus. The goddess Venus rules over energies regarding love, finance, beauty, and health. So if you need to do any rituals, meditations, or prayers regarding those topics... Wednesday would be the absolute positive day to do so, as the goddess Venus will be available to assist you with manifestation, okay? As always, I charge both decks with crystal organite pucks and your personalized astrological signs. So again, we're doing the reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus people. Before I do any reading, I always meditate over the decks, meditate over the energies, okay? And what I heard was the Warren G song. Smoking me out. I heard that. And I haven't heard that song in years. So I know definitely this, this energy is for you guys. And then I also seen a fire truck. And what's so interesting is, you know, like how, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you know how you see those porcelain angels. I seen a porcelain angel and it was kind of like looking down. But I seen the angel like blowing, like it was blowing out smoke. And it's interesting because, like I said, I heard the Warren G song smoking me out. <laughs> if you do, and that's not what the song is about, but put it in the search link, okay? And then listen to the song and you'll kind of pick up the vibe. You, you may be able to pick up the vibe that I picked up. But from what I'm getting from it, because, again, this is a love read, I feel like somebody is just, like, somebody is just put your fire out. And, like I said, not in a negative way, in a positive way. Like, you are just, like... You know how smoke is kind of, is foggy and it just engulfs everything. I feel like you're engulfed with the energy of this person. And that's just the overlying energy. It may or may not tie into your reading, but that's the energy that I got when I was meditating over you guys reading. And it's interesting because like I said, I seen the angel and I'm, I'm being more drawn to the fact that it was like a porcelain angel. So somebody may have like an angel one of those porcelain angels in their home. You or other person, or you may meet this person at establishment that has this this um feature so keep that in mind okay as always we do two cards one is a general card and then the second is the possible outcome and then we do two clarifying cards from a second deck also before i started your reading i was guided to smell the um lemon essential oil it helps raise your vibration and usually when i do my candles I will carve words in it because that helps manifest and build energy also. And I carved in there calm energy, protection. But we know, in, in case you don't know, lemon energy is about raising your vibration. It's like a happy, joyous, um, abundant energy. And I was guided to tell you guys this. This is, you are literally the 10th reading that I've done today. And I have not brought this up in anybody else's reading. And it's been on the table the whole time when I was doing readings. But I was guided to, you know, take a whiff of it and take the energy in. And I was also guided to tell you guys that you you might want to invest in it. It's not very expensive. Depending on where you live, you would know how that applies to you. But you might want to invest in some lemon oil, okay? I feel like it'll help raise your vibration. It's definitely something that I always keep at my house. I always have to have lemon oil. So, Okay, we had too many flip overs. So, like I said, we only take one card. And this will be, the first card will be your generalized overall energy. This card didn't want to go in the deck. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And that can be you because Pentacles we know is you guys, Earth sign card. Six of Pentacles. Um, okay, you got another card flip over. What we got? Yeah, and then you have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like with you guys, there's... What I'm hearing is you're feeling like there's a lack of give and take. Or there was an energy of lack and give and take. And I say was because your possible outcome, I'm holding it upright so that you can see the imagery, is the five of pentacles, but it's coming up in reverse. You know, the five of pentacles upright is about feeling left out in the cold. It came up in reverse. So you could be coming from feeling left out in the cold with a love partner or a love relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so often when I do readings, when I part the deck before I shuffle, I'm drawn to show you guys the cards because these are underlying energies. As this, this deck is thick, 
any single card could have popped out facing us but these cards are popped out so you have the star card in reverse and then you have the seven of swords and like i just said that five of pentacles in reverse is your possible outcome i feel like somebody's coming out of the cold some you may have been dealing with somebody that you felt like you couldn't trust like there was a sneaky situation and then you have the star card we know the star card is about healing it came up in the reverse and even though we're not pulling these cards these are underlying energies right the star card is about healing wish fulfillment you could have with this next to this seven of swords i feel like somebody felt like they didn't something in the relationship wasn't fulfilling and i said that initially when i pulled your first two cards because you have the the six of pentacles and then the five of pentacles you know that's still in the energy of like some type of stagnancy and some type of mm, some feeling I, I, overall it's just a lack and because they both are pinnacle cards i know this is your energy you're feeling a lack with somebody and again as i'm shuffling the deck we have the star card again this time upright and then you have the king of pentacles in reverse again we're doing your reading you're a pinnacle sign earth sign card right and that and it's interesting because both of your pinnacle cards on the table your six of pentacles and your five of pentacles are in reverse and then you have the king of pentacles in reverse this is you so again, it could be you're feeling left out in the cold about a situation or you were feeling left out in the cold about a situation. But then also I'm picking up that you may have left someone out in the cold because you were concerned more so with your finances, which I'm not surprised about when you're talking about a Capricorn, right? Because we know how you guys are. Capricorns, look at that. You keep getting that star card. And then the fact that you keep getting a star card every single time I part the deck, and I'm not even paying attention to how I'm parting the deck, that lets me know that there is going to be some healing. And then you have the five of swords upright. And remember initially in the song, I, said, I told you I heard in the song, smoking me out of there, and I seen a fire truck. This looks like smoke. Like some, you know how when you see a fire and the smoke is kind of drifting and it's being like the smoke, a fire is being put out and it's drifting. I feel like there were casualties. Not literal, like, fatal casualties. I feel like there was casualties in war and somebody felt like they had the upper hand in the situation. So there may have been some type of argument with you or a partner. And that's why I say I feel this, this energy. That's why you have the five of pentacles here. And this is your possible outcome, right? But it came up in reverse. There was some type of casualties. And when I say casualties, like I said, there was some type of person. There was someone who was hurt in the middle of this union. So when I seen that smoking me out in that fire truck, look, and I parted again. I wasn't paying attention. You got that same car. It may have been somebody may have look. Oh wow. Okay, and then you got the Queen of Swords and look at these clouds. I'm gonna turn it up right for the visual. Smoke, clouds. And like I said, somebody, it was some communication and some type of arguments, because again, swords, swords, and this is somebody who's aggressive. And I know that because you have the five of swords. And then look at her sitting on the throne in her power. You got two sword cards, so you guys could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, person, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But you got these clouds again. You got these clouds again, okay? So outside of this song, okay, because this can go two different ways. You could have met somebody who is very enchanting to you and, and you feel like they put out your fire or somebody literally put out your fire with some aggressive conversation and some aggressive words. And now that we're getting further into the reading with both of your pinnacles being reversed and you're the pinnacles, I'm feeling like somebody may have done something to you. And again, again, and this time you have the King of Pentacles upright. I feel like somebody has been, um, somebody may have been very aggressive with you as far as communication. And that's what's putting both of these Pentacle cards in reverse. Let me get one possible, one outcome card. I'm sorry, one clarifying card for your Six of Pentacles. Okay. The moon upright. Mm, okay. Ooh, I didn't even get to shuffle. And then the will of, for will of fortune reverse. So, wow. Well, okay. Let's start from the beginning. Your possible outcome card or your, your general energy is the six of pentacles in reverse. I'm going to turn it upright so you can see the visuals. In this deck, particularly the Six of Pentacles, is about somebody who's overextending herself and overgiving. There's no balance, and we know that because you see the scales there, right? You got a scales there, and one side is up higher than the other one. You may be coming out of that, right? Because your possible outcome is the Five of Pentacles. 
we're going to turn the card up right so you can see the visuals right somebody may have been overextending herself and there was no balance in love and money and then the five of pentacles upright is about feeling left out in the cold but it came up in the reverse so you are coming out of a situation where you i feel like this is you because again this is pentacles you may have been overextending yourself you may have been paying all the bills you may have been the only person who was given the relationship some type of structure and groundedness and stability and you want it out of that situation. Again, I'm holding it upright so you can see the imagery. But I, I strongly feel like because it came in reverse, you're coming out of this situation. And I know that because your clarifying card for your six of pentacles in reverse is the moon. There was a lot of hidden things in this relationship. And it may, and because you have so many pinnacle cards, I feel like it may have been regarding money. You may have found out somebody had you paying all the bills and they had some type of income of their own. Or it could be vice versa. You may have had money stored away and you were hiding it from your partner. You would know how that applies. But I feel like we have a moon here and then you have the sun in the background. I feel like it was illuminated. It was hidden at one point. I feel like it was illuminated. Something came to light and then somebody found out about this, you know, this hidden money. And I feel, yeah, I feel like it's hidden money because like I said, if you look right here, you have hands. Either they're throwing money at this person or they're reaching for asking for money from this person. It could be you or your partner or the person of interest, right? Again, you would know how that applies. And it was, it, you know, and it left either somebody was put out because of this situation once you found out or you just felt out in the cold. Like, why would you allow me to struggle? Why would you allow me to not know what was going on with you? And the whole time you had this available, but you weren't sharing it with me. What I'm also taking notice on is you see how this like this gleam of light and it's going to one, two, three. Like three is just mainly this light is shining mainly on this this area, but more so on just this one pinnacle, this one big pinnacle. And that's why I'm really feeling like it was you. I feel like you weren't telling your partner what was really going on with your finances, but somehow they found out. They definitely found out. Your clarifying card for your five of pentacles in reverse is the will of fortune in reverse. And I feel like because of this action, once this person found out, they didn't want to move forward with this union. Or you, again, you would know how this applies to your situation. You or this person didn't want to move forward with this union. And there was a halt. And you know what I'm noticing again with this being in reverse? You see how the devil is laying or this little, whatever this little bean is, is laying on, on this little... Mm, okay, so I was going to say a clock, but then I'm hearing compass. Okay, and like I said, there was no forward movement. I'm feeling like this is a compass. And then you see like this little bean looks like a little devil or something like that. Because again, I'm going to say it was some sneakiness. It was some sneakiness in a situation. And because of that sneakiness, it halted forward movement. I'm, I'm being drawn to how this is pointed towards the little bean's head. It's like an A. This person could have an A, and it, because there's a cross from it, an O. This person could have an A or an O in their initials. First, middle, last name. Again, you would know how that applies. But I feel like somebody feels like their ego, this could be ego also. Manipulation, ego, one. And that's why this little devil being is on top of this compass. But either way it goes, because of that action, there was a halt to a forward movement in a relationship. Because we know the, the will of fortune is about a change in luck, forward movement in, in a situation, progression. In reverse, that's not the case. And I feel like it's strongly tied to you. This is, I feel like this is you guys, like I said. Because I'm holding it up right so you guys can see the visual, but both of your pinnacle cards came in reverse. So I feel like because it came in reverse, these was actions done by you. Again, it could be vice versa. You can also be dealing with another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, possibly Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But again, I, I'm I'm really picking up that this is your energy, and this person found out about it, and it stopped the progression. It stopped you guys from moving forward. Because when you look at all these cards together, you got strong money energy, strong Earth sign energy, you again, and then there's hidden agendas. And then you look how strong this little devil looking being looks. They're, they're standing out above everything else. There was some manipulation 
and sneakiness going on. And then even upright, he's holding this compass on his back. So it's like, if you remove the ego, you remove the negativity and sneakiness, there's forward movement. And either way it goes, upside down or upright, we have this A and this O initials. So like I said, that first middle last name could start with an A or O. Yeah, most definitely. So, okay, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, people, as always, I'm going to ask you to continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.